All right. Took me a while to get set up here, but I'm ready to go. Um, this is the video I've been wanting to do for a long time. I actually did a couple <coughs> test streams with it. It's a little annoying on PS4 because I can't get the game audio coming out the speakers to the capture software and into a headset. It's either one or the other. So I have to listen to the game preview and the capture software I'm using. So that gets a little laggy on my shitty laptop. Um, and I have to hear myself talk. So anyways, this is What Remains of Edith Finch. Fantastic game, pretty short. So I'll probably break it up into a couple half hour segments. And we are hopping right in. Uh, so I'm on a boat in the Puget, Puget Sound. With some flowers. I can't tell if that's a cast on my hand or some modern hand wrap aesthetic. I've got a journal that says Edith Finch and I'm opening said journal. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Damn! a hell of a house. I'm going to tinker with the audio settings a bit starting out. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Can't say I've seen a house like that before. Except for the first time I've played this game. Orca's Island Gazette. So I'm on an island. Presumably I took that boat to this island. Okay, that's not the same Inside hand. Inside the mailbox were bills from <coughs> seven years ago. Marked urgent, open immediately. So I, it doesn't look like I'm playing as the same person that was on the boat. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. I love the style of this game. Um, since I have already played through it, you know, I tried to, I did do some recordings as I was playing through it which definitely captured, you know, my original reactions. Yeah. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. I'm definitely going to keep this spoiler free. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or <coughs> she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. But I'm not the best actor, so I will try to... It's been about two months since I played through it, um, but yeah, I, I do generally know what's coming, but I'm going to do my best to be a good captain on this trip. I won't rush through anything, and I'm sure there's some things I missed the first time that I will appreciate more the second time. Like this damn frog. I tried to find this frog for far too long the first time and uh, played around with some controls. Is that it? Or is that a leaf? It's always so dark right here. I can't tell. Starting off with fantastic content as always. It's what you've come to expect from this channel. It's called streaming for dummies, but it could be called streaming with dummies. Um, I'm gonna pull up the capture software real quick. I got it minimized on my laptop. I found that if I have it, because I have to listen to the live preview, 
So if I have the preview showing up on my laptop, the audio just goes down the tank. So I'm gonna pull it up real quick. It might get glitchy. Just to see the levels. Looks alright. Game audio might be a little low. We'll see. I'll leave you how it is for the now. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. I presume you have a few questions about the house itself as well, like how it's hasn't fallen over yet. Um, so I think it's safe to assume at this point, um, you know, since we opened the journal that the we- The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Like that damn frog. Although it is a little more eerie now. Um, as I was saying, I think it's safe to assume we likely are... That might be Edith's journal, and we may be playing as Edith right now. Um, kind of living through the story in her journal. Don't know who's on the boat, though. Someone close enough to be reading her journal and presumably following her footsteps back here. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. I'm not sure how you'd forget that, but... I mean, it looks like the coolest tree house you'd ever want. Alright. I hear him again. Where's he at? It's gotta be a trophy for catching this frog. I don't know if he exists or if it's just a sound. Um, I will say this game's pretty linear in terms of, you know, it's not an open world game. It definitely, like, I got cut off over there, so it's definitely not super free to explore. The audio is fantastic. A lot of subtle things. Um, I'll try to note as many as possible. Like I said, I've probably missed some the first time around. I just love these kind of games. Milton Finch. Perhaps it could be, I guess, her brother? She's talking about her brother's funeral? Can't remember if she said the name of her brother earlier. Which is, this game and, uh, like, Gone Home, you know, these are the kind of games where you really focus on the little things, like every piece of furniture, every rock, every detail. Not because you feel like you're supposed to, but because you... As a game child, makes you want to. the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I can think of a couple words that would make me feel uncomfortable about this structure. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Me too. Me too. See, now this is something I didn't notice before. Is this ramp a necessity for somebody in the house? Or is it just a convenience thing? We'll find out. Looks like it was kind of just abandoned, though. Kind of. They did take the basketball rim, though, it looks like, so. That might come in handy on a road trip. Um, just kind of briefly go over the controls. Um, it's pretty much just walking around. Uh, there isn't a sprint, so it's kind of, this is the moving speed. Um, but it feels good. I played uh, 
Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, another PS4 game that was free to play. Um, I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. Oh, she said what? it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me even then. Oh my god, I missed this the first time. See? Hopefully there will be more of those. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'd been wanting to buy this game forever, and I just twiddled my thumbs, and then eventually it was free on PlayStation Plus, and I immediately snatched it. Um, and it's it's worth it. I almost, I hate saying it because it sounds kind of lame, but I almost wish I paid money for this, just because it deserves that kind of praise. Um, but Everybody's Gone to the Rapture is a similar kind of walking game, and the speed on that was just too slow and spread out. This is a lot, a lot tighter, but it's pretty much just walking, and um, uh, R1 is basically your action button, and L1 will uh, zoom. I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. And there's kind of minor puzzle, not really puzzles, but just uh, kind of tactile controls. So like right now, I push up on the left Looking stick in, while I'm holding. I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. So it looks like there is a chair lift. So with the ramp on the porch, maybe there is someone in here who's not very mobile. I think it's been just the right amount of time since I played through this that it's it's gonna feel feel fresh. Oh boy. Hearing some audio cuts. My laptop is chugging. Hopefully it's not too bad. Am I the only one that finds wind chimes, like, equal parts just calming and also terrifying? Like, they sound so nice, but then you feel like someone's about to stab you when you're listening to them. Maybe that's just me. The house felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. So it seems like a lot of generations of finches in this finches in this house. Finches in this house. Not actually a tongue twister. Thought it was for a second. Crawling through Literally the dining door used to be a lot easier when I was eleven. Too close. What kind of car we got here? Looks like a station wagon. Got a uh, tennis ball string going up to nowhere. Wonder if that's. I feel like my in laws have something like this. Like, does it tell you how far to go in and stop? Once you hit the tennis ball, you're. Clear of the garage door, door, maybe? Oh boy. Hearing some more cuts. So, my laptop is slightly outdated. The power Doing the best I can. The night we left. By who? Oh, here we go. Got some names. For the first time in oh. years. Now, if you stop interrupting me, Edith, I'm trying to learn about your family here. So we got E.D., Don, Lewis, Milton, and Edith. So Milton is definitely the one on the missing um, flyer. So 
I'm not sure if he's the one in the funeral or if that's someone else. But it looks like we got five people in the house at any given time. Okay, January 2010. Take well, remember that as this little snapshot. I felt like I was home. And I can I can hear the audio kind of skipping. It's driving me crazy. I might cut these clips a little short. See if I can fix it before it becomes a huge problem. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. So Milton's definitely missing by this picture. Looks like Edie's maybe Edith's grandma and Don's her mom. Lewis is that other brother? Okay. So I think Lewis was the one. She may have mentioned his name earlier, right? What the hell was that? Damn wind chimes. Causing the floor to creak. Um. So I guess it was Lewis, is the brother she was talking about the funeral for earlier. Northwest Chef. Um, I think we are in Washington. I think that's where the Puget sound is. Oh boy. It's a lot of fish. Hopefully that's not a salmon apple pie. Looks like something. Oh, and apple pie. Hopefully cinnamon and not salmon apple pie. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. So they got a cat too. Okay. Come on, audio. Stay with me. Cosmic Cuisine? Is that slang for LSD? Or munchies? The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Yep, there we go. Looks like the grandma had a wheelchair and looks like oxygen. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Great grandma? Oh, maybe, um, maybe Edie was Don's grandma. Let me double check. Okay, great grandson. Okay, so Edie is Don's grandma. Got it. Good to know. Like I said, it's been a good amount of time. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just I don't like railings. too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. This reminds me far too much of PT. And it's not a good thing. Even the fireplace scenario. had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. It sank? If the first house Oh, that was cool. If the first house sank. Your next idea is to make the world's craziest skyscraper? It may not sink, but it's surely going to fall over. These look like real photos, too. I always wonder how many of these are developer family photos. I hope it's a lot. That'd be cool. 
some of these may not be like that looks potentially fake that's too well framed a lot of boxes like things were getting packed up to leave maybe Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. The mystery of the key continues. Barbara? Oh, nobody named Barbara ever lived very long. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Oh, come on, audio. I gotta fix this. Is that Bigfoot? Also, way to bury the lead. Sven built built the music box, but also the rest of this house. No big deal. No big big deal. God, man, this audio is killing me. I should stop complaining and do something about it. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Uh, I'm sorry? Like, metaphorically? Oh, you know, metaphor. Maybe their stories are all buried in there. Hopefully not fingers and toes, though. Dysfunctional? Oh, the power is out. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Oh, oh, it's wanting me to look down there. What am I stuck on? Oh, railing. I really panicked for a second. Got a lot of rooms here. Whenever people ask me about my family, it is Bigfoot. The first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Little baby Barbara. How about that Bill Button, though? He really killed it in that role. He was, you know, kind of underrated, if you ask me. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Probably because the third floor and above is not up to code. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. God, this family runs deep. Good day, sir. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Damn, this room didn't grow out of it, though. Let's start looking at these ages. Okay. Damn, she did die young. What is that? 16? Entertaining and educational. We got Sven and Edie. Okay, so Sven, who built the house and the music box, mind you. It looks like he was related to Edie, but he also died early um Edie if you remember from the porch said that dragon fell and killed Sven so maybe that's what happened the last time I was in Edith senior's room I was 10 and she was painting my portrait it's a cool looking bird it's a nice hat, man. And you, miss. Or mister. What do we got here? This is an unmarked door. Gregory? Oh, that's- As a kid, I just assumed every house here. had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Uh, this is, I'd say, an unusual room for a peephole. Just based on my experience. And shag carpet in a bathroom? 
What? what oh, I don't like these noises, man. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. While he was there? Or, again, is this metaphorically? You guys gotta be precise with your language. Eleven years, oh my goodness. Why are there so many tragic... Everybody in this house is dead. 2010, that's what this, uh... That's what that calendar was marked at. Um, although, let me check something else. Does this get darker, or is that my imagination? I thought I saw another calendar. Here we go. November of 2010, so definitely the that garage calendar was way outdated by about a year. Hmm. Yeah, def things were definitely getting packed up. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, <laughs> but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. That's hard. I don't know how you ever just accept that. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with, if she hadn't died in 1947. Of course, another dead relative. Ten years old? Oh my goodness. At what point is this bad parenting? Tragic, for sure. Oh, no, this is my kind of room. Who's this? Walter? Oh. I think I just pulled that out of memory. I spent a lot that. of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Hey, there it is. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Well, I wonder why she didn't. Probably because I was having fun in here. All right, if memory serves me well, this is a pretty good place to stop. Um, I'm gonna try to fix this audio issue, but I'm gonna stop here, keep going. And hope this is entertaining for you guys. This is a fantastic game. Just trying to do it justice. So stay tuned. Oh, jeez. Perfect way to end. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. See you guys.